we're going to review the settings to enable user codes on a Rico copier. For this video, we're going to demonstrate on a MPC 3504. The process is the same across many, if not all, models. Your model might vary, however, these will be the defaults for, again, most, if not all, Rico devices. There are a number of items required to complete this. You must be connected to the local network. You must know the IP address of the MFP or copier, and you must have the admin login information if that has been applied on the copier. So let's get started. Open a web browser. Enter the IP address of the copier. Once you see this screen here, select the login function. Enter the credentials. Normally it is admin and no password. Select login. Select device management and configuration. Now if you scroll down, you'll see user authentication management. Select that. From here you want to select user code. It will populate this screen here. For print job authentications, keep the default of entire. And if you scroll down, and I want you to read this here, functions to restrict. So this is important. Basically everything on the copier is restricted as of this time. So unless you change it, nothing can be done. Black and white copying won't work, full color, you name it. So again, this is, these are functions to restrict. These functions will re require a code to work. So the way to get around this, or the, or the way to set this up, really, is to enable this to restrict everything, then go into the address book. So you want to select OK. You want to go back a level. And now you want to add a user in the address book. So for this video, we're going to create a user, John Smith. So add. So right here, John Smith. And same. Right here, user code, one, two, three, four. And right here is where you want to restrict it. So again, available functions. They have full color, two color, single color, black and white. If you do not give them functions that are available, they will not be able to copy anything in color or even in black and white. So if we uncheck this, basically, um, listed on the previous menu, it will not work. So select black and white, and then you can do full color. If you want to make functions available for color for printing, uncheck it here, allow black and white. So for this user, we're going to allow black and white only. Right? That's the only function they can use. This is managed at the user level, so each user will have their own access rights. Some might have color, some might have black and white, you name it. There's the code listed. Now, if I want to add another user, and we'll, we'll just say it's uh, Steve Brown. But Steve is a manager, so he needs all functions. So Steve. All right. Enter their code. Give them full color access for printing and copying. All right. This is basically everything you can think of on the machine. All right, select OK, and now we have two users set up. So John Smith, his code is 1234, Steve Brown is 4321. The user codes are visible in the address book, um, and there's a way to lock that down. But basically, anyone can see each other's codes, so just make note of that. If you want to lock that function down, select Back, go to Device Management, Configuration, and that would be here under administrator authentication management. You turn it on and then you restrict the functions. So right here on as well and you would select all the functions that you wanted to lock down. Basically once you lock these down so you enable them to on and you check these boxes end users cannot see each other's codes. So select OK on that. So now you have authentication management enabled and you have user authentication management. So you have an admin role and you have a user role. And again, this is also managed under the address book. So each user has to have their own code. This concludes our video.